Hello, um, welcome to a quick demonstration of GoDev, a web-based integrated development environment for the Go programming language. So first thing is I'm going to connect to my Go server, my GoDev server that I have running on my Go path. Uh, when I navigate to it, I can see a um, list of all uh, folders that are both in the Go root and the Go path. So I can see here things that are part of the Go SDK, as well as items that are in my Go path. First thing is I'm going to create a uh, new uh, folder for my library that I'm going to work on, which is hello. going to navigate into my hello folder and I'm going to add a new go file. Here I have my go dev editor uh, along with a navigator pane on the left to see my, my files in my project. So uh, first things first I can um, set up a very quick uh, template using uh, Content Assist with Control Shift uh, and it creates a, a very standard uh, Go template. So I'm going to name my package hello, or main actually just to make things a little simpler. And I'm going to import the FMT package. Hit enter and it uh, puts me into the main function where I can write my uh, FMT dot printf and the standard hello world type greeting. Don't need any arguments there. There's no uh, no parameters. So I can hit save, control S, and here I have uh, my first Go file using GoDev. So you've so seen here um, examples of content assist. So I was able to uh, look up quickly the standard um, functions that are available in various packages um, and a content assist just to produce a, uh, a simple uh, file. So one of the interesting uh, features of GoDev is it has a built-in GoDoc search. I'm just going to open that up in a new tab. So if I ever want to get more detailed information about um, a particular function or a package, I can uh, type the information in here. And I can see here that, yes, printf does take a format string and a variable list of objects. So that's the GoDoc integration. The GoDoc will also um, work on your own package. Want, but you can see here that I don't have any GoDocs yet, so it's essentially empty. So that's the GoDoc integration. Um, as well, um, there is a search integration. You can, for instance, uh, let's see, Control Shift F brings me a file name search, and I can uh, search for various files by their name. Um, for instance, here I can navigate back to my hello.go file. As well, there's integrated search, uh, content search. So I can search for something that exists inside the contents of a file using control H. So I can search for anything that contains the text hello world. As you can see here, one of the things that has hello world is my hello.go. Um, other things are context.go, doc.go. Apparently, uh, this file has uh, hello world in it somewhere. So that's a bit about search. As well, um, there is a integrated uh, shell environment here I can go to. Um, <clears throat> so from within the shell, um, there's a couple of basic commands uh, that you're used to at the go command line that are available. Um, one of them is go build. Uh, we can see here that I'm in my hello package, so I can run the go build from there and find any build errors. As well, I can do a go install, which will uh, do as you would expect. It would compile and install um, the hello package. 
If any build errors or install errors occurred, they would be listed uh, just below the command. Okay, so from there I can go to um, the debug page. The debug page has, uh, because I've go installed my hello package, it has my hello um, executable here um, that I can then execute. So I don't need any command line arguments for my program, so I can just hit the execute button. And you can see here that uh, hello world was uh, printed out as we'd expect. Um, if you want to run multiple programs, you can hit execute multiple times and you can flip back and forth between the different uh, the different outputs. Okay, so going back to the editor for a moment, um, there is also support for markers in the editor, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate shortly. So imagine if I put in some invalid syntax into the file here. Um, like this, and I hit save. Um, it runs the Go compiler to identify any any errors, compile errors in the file. Um, you can hover over the marker here, for instance, and see. Oh yes, uh, BBB is undefined, so I can erase that line. Save it again, and you can see that the compile worked. So there were no issues there. As well, um, there is marker support for to do comments. So uh, to do uh, refactor method and when I hit save um, the to do is marked so there's a to do there for uh, for something to be done at a later time and that's a brief introduction to GoDev um, I hope you found this video uh, interesting um, you can um, uh, create tasks or uh, raise defects against my uh, the project page and uh, I hope this has been uh, interesting. Thank you.